Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you, Leo. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe. I hope you're feeling great whenever you are watching my video. This is for you. This is a weekly reading for the Leo friends out there. Thank you so much, Leo, for coming back. Thanks for tuning in. Um, for guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out my online store, the Setting Manifestation Candles. They are already available. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading from me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will work on with the energy and I will come back to you, okay? These candles, they were curated and touched by a Reiki during the blue moon, the powerful blue moon, um, the October 31st full moon. So it's supercharged with amazing energy, all right? Also, check out the blog, www.sunshine-tv.com. We will be putting there the December tarot reading um, video. It will be uploaded there. It is going to be available there. So check, up, check out the website, all right? And there would be an extended of this reading to access the extended reading, how your person feels about you for this week. The link is down the description box below. As you can see, Leo, I have already shuffled the card. I pre-picked the card for you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to show it in the camera because, again, I forgot to turn it on. And I was halfway through, like two minutes, three minutes, I think five minutes reading already. And I forgot to turn it on, turn the, record, the, the button on to record it. So here you go. Um, doing it the second time around. It's the same strong message, so I will re-deliver it for you guys. Okay, let's start the reading. So in the past situation or past energy, you've got the nine of wands in reverse and the devil card. You have allowed someone in your past, Leo, an in and out situation, a cycle, you believe that this person, they've changed. You are aware, or you're dealing with a person or a love situation where you have a lot of history with this person. To be honest with you, Leo, the devil card in reverse, this is good. It means that you're dealing with a person, a situation, an ex, that the toxic between the two of you, the pain, the hurt, the betrayal, the messy setup, the expectation, it's its drifting away. The negative vibe between the two of you, it is, it is diminishing. It is fading, all right? Something in the past energy, it is progressing. Um, the darkness is gone. It's starting to, the light of, of you know, it's, you know, the, 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 the dark force, it is disappearing. And the sun, which is your, which, which is you, Leo, the sunshine is casting light to the dark forces. This is a love person. This is a love interest. You have a lot of history, so in and out, in and out. Uh, six of ones in reverse, two of swords. You felt like you failed them. They fail you. There's definitely a breakup or a no-talking situation between the two of you right now. You could still be in a relationship, but it's very quiet. It's very distant. You've learned, and they are learning the lesson. You, What I get from the Six of Wands in Reverse and the Two of Swords is that nobody wins in a breakup, okay? It is, it's your loss. It's their loss. It's a reciprocal it's a mutual energy, but it is leading to the right path because devil card, nine of wands, you break up, you separated. So you stop fighting. And so you drain the toxic. If you guys have not spoken for quite some time, if you feel like your energy um, towards this person, it's starting to clear out the negative feelings, the pain, the hurt, uh, the betrayal, it's starting to clear out. Your person is feeling the same. Okay, um, there's a loss. 
you lost time because you tried to connect, reconnect, you're in a relationship and then you separated. So it was a loss. It, it was a loss. Nobody wins in a breakup, in a disconnection. Whether you're just dating, you know, you started to date a person first two weeks and they're gone. It's a loss. Both of you lost time because you never, you can never take that same two weeks that you're dating. It's there. It's allocated with them. That specific time frame, timeline, it is owned by the, it is owned by that person. So you cannot take back time. It's done. So you both lost each other. You both lost. You didn't, it, it's a loss. You are aware of that. Nobody wins. It, it's really telling you, you, you think you win. No, they, there's no loser or winner in here. Leo. Don't think that you're suffering and they're not. They do. You're a lost. Okay. It not having you, it's a loss. And so you are to them. It's 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 a feeling of it's it's okay to admit a lost, Leo. You you both lost in this. A breakup is a loss on both part. Okay. Um, it's a gain if you're still together because it's two become one. You're powerful if you are a group. All right. So it is, um, it's getting better. It is getting better. You just have to really accept that what happened in the past, it's a loss. But you have from the past, a new dawn and the sun will come out again. Like you, you know, from being quiet, being distant, you know, all of it's, it's quite messy, to be honest. It was darkness, it was dark force that took over. But the light, the sun, will clear out the dark forces and you're starting to feel that you're starting to feel a good energy between the two of you um in the current energy leo interesting ace of swords and the chariot card there will be progress okay i see a person approaching you i see i see a more solid renewal i see a solid um, reconciliation with someone with somebody and it's not just solid it is also fast all right it could be a um, a cancer it could be gemini libra aquarius but this sword this ace of truth this sword of truth this ace of sword it is um it is being surrounded or what's this it looks like um it's violet you know violet is or purple is the color of power it is forge to its best okay it was forge to really offer you a solid fast approach so the so there is a solid approach coming your way leo this person is quite strong this person this offer is solid you've come a long way um this is the time you know nine of swords in reverse and page of pentacles the current energy it's asking you once this person approach don't play hard to get don't play ego they have a sure thing to offer ace of swords the chariot card for some of you they will travel to see you for some of you they will very it's a very fast approaching reconciliation you know don't don't play cupid to this person because they're serious ace of swords the chariot card someone is approaching you in a very fast and solid offer you might play hard to get you might play cupid don't Okay, because they're in a hurry to get a result. Don't let the ego come in. That's why the six of wands, the two of swords, it is speaking to me. Put the past behind. Um, they have change and that don't think that you lost. Um, don't think that they won. Both of you lost each other. It is lost. All right. It, it's gone. What's important is the now. And in the current energy is the ace of swords and the chariot card. So you'll get a message, you'll get an approach from now up until December. There is an opportunity for you to reconcile to someone in the past, all right? There's someone that you have an opportunity to reconcile. It is solid, it is fast. That's why Page of Pentacles, it's telling you don't play hard to get because they are approaching you in a very fast manner. They want result, okay? Six of Cups, this is a soulmate connection, the hangman yeah they were really they're really into you they were really they will release their feelings towards you leo okay it is a you know um it's like someone is offering you food 
but you're playing playing with your food before you eat that all right so it, it is a feeling that you're so you're so delighted you're so elated you feel overjoyed actually when this person is rushing towards you offering you something solid and you feel the difference between if you compare from past to present it felt like it has changed it has matured the ace of swords in here it has been forged to perfectionism it was forged to be perfect you know this sword it was catered for you so it is a feeling of someone made you a special food this is a specially made to order food for you leo but you're playing with it so you're advising this is a soulmate okay calling leo you have a soulmate you have an ace of sword you have a chariot fast offer solid offer please don't play hard to get don't play leo all right um they have so much feelings to share and how can they share it with you if you don't let them in page of swords the magician they might lose hope or they might retract they might pull away if you play hard to get there is a very strong message in here leo that you need to reciprocate this if you want this person to continue going this fast fast approach solid approach you need to reciprocate it they need some validation they need some response to you if you don't give it to them, if you play hard to get, if you play Cupid, they will disappear. Um, they will message you and they will be gone. And who knows when will they when will they come back again? Because the magician card in reverse. So this is you, Leo. If you would like to further know how they how they feel towards you, check out the description box below. Uh, the link to extended reading is there, and I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye bye.